All right, if you're choosing to take your self-portrait in the style of David Hockney's photo collage, here's what you'll have to do. Step one is to take a photo of yourself, actually to take many photos of yourself. So you can choose to take the photo with um, a phone or tablet. You could also use the camera in your computer right here. If you have a camera um, that uses film, you could do it this way too, but you'd have to wait for the film um, to be developed and then glue it together. So I'm going to do it digitally. When you're taking your photos, you can choose. Do you want to just show your face or do you want to show your whole body from farther away? Um, it's up to you, but you're going to want to take many different photos that go kind of around your face or up to down. So I'll do a few right now. I'm just using my phone. So I'm going to turn it to front facing camera. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll start on one side. So I'll take a photo. Maybe I'll get closer. Coming around. Every time I move my phone, I'm taking another picture. Maybe I'll do some from down below. Some from up above. All right, that was step one. All right, step two for the self-portrait would be to upload your photos to a Google Drawing. There's a few ways to do this. Um, one way is to just do the Google Drawing on whatever device you took your photos on. So if you took your photos on your phone, you could just open Google Drawing in an app on your phone. If you took the photos on your computer, you can just open Google Drawings in your computer. Or what I did, I took the photos on my phone and then I emailed them to myself and downloaded them. So they're down here, you can see some of them. Um, and then I'm gonna open Google Drawings on my computer. So I just, I'm in a new tab here. I'm gonna type in Google Drawings. I'm already logged into my Dearborn account. That's important for um, sharing it later. Click Google Drawings. And it's going to open just a blank Google Drawing that has nothing in it yet. So I can title it. After it's done loading, there it goes. So I'm going to title it my name. Now I'll say self portrait collage. Okay, then before I upload my photos, I like to set a background color. When you see this checkerboard, it means there's no background. So I'm going to right click. Hover over background, and I think for now I'll just do a white background. I can always change it later. All right, now I want to upload my photos so I can start moving them around and arranging them. So I'm going to hit insert image, and mine I downloaded to my computer, so I'm going to click this one. Remember, if you save them to your drive, you can get to them this way. If you haven't taken them yet, you can hit camera and then take a few photos that way. Uh, they're mine are already on my computer, so I'm going to hit this. I have to find them. Here they are. I'm going to click the first one and scroll over. Oops, do I see the last one? I'm going to hold down Shift, click the last one. Oh, just kidding, i got to click all of them. I'm holding down Shift as I click these so I can upload them all at once. You want you could just do a couple at a time though that's easier oh. i took a lot oh. okay well i think i have them all selected i'll hit open it might take a second because that was quite a few photos see it says creating images Once they're all uploaded on here, I'll probably select one at a time. I might change the size of some of them. I might crop some of them, which means cut off part of the photo. And then I'll try my best to arrange it in the actual shape of my face. So the ones that are top of my head will go on top. The ones that show my mouth will go more near the bottom where my mouth is. They will upload faster if you don't do quite as many at once. There they are, okay. 
it's a funny one to start with. So right now, all of my images are selected. I think I had like 15. So, oh, they're kind of coming up one at a time. So I'm gonna click out of them. So I'm not moving all of them at once. Then when I click one, whatever one's on top, I can drag it to make it smaller. And you can see the ones behind it. So I think I'm gonna start by making mine smaller. As you can see, I did a lot of photos. In fact, I probably don't need this many. Um, all right, once you've made them smaller, now I know I didn't do all of mine yet. Um, I can see this little piece, remember that changes the direction or the angle. Mine are all coming in sideways, so I'm gonna turn mine the right way. Make them smaller. And then I can start to arrange them. So this is kind of the side. This one shows more of the top of my face. If I want one photo to be on top of the other, it's like right now this photo is on top of this one, but if I wanted this one to show more, I would right click the photo, hover over the word order, and then you can either click bring forward or if you want it right on top, hit bring to front. So I just did that for that one. Now that one is on top. Now, I don't think I want my shoulder to show in this one, so I'm going to crop or cut off that part of the photo. So while I have it selected, I'm going to hit this symbol, crop image. I'm going to drag this black rectangle over as much as I want to crop, and that will take that part out. Maybe I don't want either shoulder. I'll hit enter, and then there's my new picture. So I can put it kind of on top of this one, try and line it up. Then, oh, this looks like the side of my face that goes over here. It's almost like a puzzle. I think I'm gonna crop this one so it's more just the my hair on the side of my head. Angle. I'll kind of put that here so it's like, there's the side of my head. So see, I'm kind of building my face. I'll do maybe one or two more. So I've got this one. First, I made it smaller. Then I turned it the right direction. And then I think I'm gonna crop it because I already have the front of my face. I want more just the side. Make this straight to crop it. Hit crop. I'm gonna drag this over. When you like what it looks like, hit enter. And then you can move it over. If I wanted this piece to be more on top, I would right click, order, bring to front, and now it's on top of that one. Like that. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna do the rest in this video, but I will keep going with the rest of my photos of making them smaller, changing the direction if they're sideways, cropping a piece out that I don't feel like I need. I already have the top of my head, maybe I'll cut off the top, hit enter and then drag it to where I think it should go to show my face. Um, you know what, let me show you the last step while I'm here. So just to review, step one was to take photos of yourself, many different angles all around. Step two was to upload them to a Google Drawing. You can do a Google Drawing on a computer, phone, tablet, it's up to you, wherever you have the app, um, or wherever you have Google Chrome, you can open it. Step three, Arrange your photos by cropping them, making them the right size, the right direction, and try to put them about where they would go on your face. The last step would be to share it with me. So to share or send, you're gonna hit this blue button that says share. And then you would type my email in right here. Type in Bruce, usually you can find me, Paige Bruce. If you wanna add a note, you can. You can say, hi, Miss Bruce. Here is my self portrait collage. Oops. And it's up. And then it'll share it with me, and you are all set.